Hi guys, Blackbox here. In this short video I'm gonna tell you everything about the single engine Texian. Okay, so we've just stowed the reverser and the first thing you need to do is start the stopwatch. Now before we switch off an engine we have to wait for three minutes in order to let the engine thermally stabilize. Now if you don't let the engine thermally stabilize you run uh, the risk of getting a rotor seizure or uh, a so-called core lock of the rotor shaft. So you can already see that a single engine taxi in only makes sense if the taxi in time is longer than three minutes. Now when you switch off an engine during taxi there's uh, some more important things you have to consider. For example you have to make sure that you have uh, separate electrical power sources. So that's one reason to switch on the APU. Now all the measures that we're taking in a few moments are there to is to make sure that should the remaining operating engine fail we have electrical power for firefighting and also hydraulic power for steering and braking. Let's uh, look into the hydraulic system of the A320. The normal braking system uses green hydraulic pressure. Should for any reason the green hydraulic system not be pressurized, then obviously the normal braking system would fail and the alternate braking system, which uses yellow hydraulic pressure, will be used as alternate braking. Now remember that the green hydraulic system is pressurized by the engine one hydraulic pump whilst the yellow hydraulic system is pressurized by engine driven pump of the engine number two. Now since you want to use the normal braking system it is uh, clear that for taxi in you will switch off the right engine, engine number two. Another reason is the fact that the yellow system can also be pressurized by an electric backup pump. This is also absolutely necessary because in the newer aircrafts the nose wheel steering is powered by yellow hydraulic pressure. Now I know some of you may say that well there's a power transfer unit installed so if the yellow system fails the power transfer unit will use the green pressure to also pressurize the yellow system pressure. But here you have to be careful because due to the operating logic of the PTU there are some instances when the PTU, the power transfer unit, will not run. Okay, so three minutes have passed and uh, we have the APU electrical power available and so we switch off the engine number two. After switching off engine number two it'll take quite some time for N2 to spool down and the yellow system pressure to drop. Once the pressure difference between the green and the yellow system reaches 500 psi, the power transfer unit will start running. Now be aware that the FS Labs A320 at this stage doesn't uh, completely show the PT operation uh, correctly. Here the PTU kicks in with a pressure difference of roughly 350 to 400 psi and also there is a certain lag um, until the PTU operation is shown on the system display. But as you can see at some point um, the PTU operation is displayed correctly. Now you would try to avoid um, PTU operation for long periods of time. So let's uh, switch on the electrical hydraulic pump for the yellow system. As soon as we switch on the yellow electric pump, the PTU stops operating and uh, yellow system pressure is now produced by the electrical pump. Also uh, be aware of uh, the fact that when you switch off one engine, you will have asymmetric thrust. So on slippery or contaminated uh, taxiways, 
he should definitely avoid taxing in with one engine. Another thing to remember is that if you have a very heavy aircraft or have to do very sharp turns um, in the maneuvering areas, um, jet blast may cause damage or injuries to personnel. Now I've also talked about the electrical power distribution and how you would want a backup for the generator number one. Now if we didn't start the APU and uh, for some reason the only remaining engine failed, you would get um, a complete power loss. Um, so you would only have uh, battery power available. This means um, a reduced capability for engine firefighting and also a reduced um, communication capability in the aircraft as there might be some failures of the interphone system. Okay, so let's go through the important points again. Before switching off an engine, remember that you have to wait for three minutes after the reverses are stowed to allow the engine to thermally stabilize. Then switch on the APU to have a backup electrical power source. And then after having switched off engine number two, switch on the yellow electric pump. Personally, I would not switch off an engine for a single engine taxi in, in case of a slippery taxiway or contaminated taxiway. And also if I have to do sharp turns with a heavy aircraft. Now, once you've uh, reached the gate, remember to switch off the yellow electric pump. Otherwise, your passengers will complain regarding all the noise this is creating. Not only the high-pitched yellow electric hydraulic pump, but also the barking of the power transfer unit. Alright, so this covers the important things about the single engine taxi -in. As always, um, if you have some questions, put them down in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one.